I'm Brooke Loveless. I'm going to bring you a gentle holy yoga practice. We start off our practice in holy yoga with prayer usually, and we move, we meditate, and I'm going to uh, guide you through a process called breath prayer, which even if you do not follow Jesus, can be used as a way to create breath work at the beginning of a yoga practice and then meditate or move and then meditate at the end and come back to the breath prayer. And we inhale whatever you want to call God or whatever you might cry out to God and whatever that word is, whatever that name is. And then exhale something. So sometimes for me, or a lot of times for me, it is inhale, Lord, <laughs> exhale, help. Help, I can't even put words to it. Um, or it's repentance, like I am in contempt, or I am resentful, or I have anxiety. So it's whatever that sin is. So maybe for you, that's your breath prayer today. It might, something might bubble up when I read the scripture and it just, boom, that's what you need to exhale. Give it over to God. It's not serving him. Uh, give it up and, and let him have it. Let just let go. So I encourage you today, uh, if you're new to yoga, I think you're going to find this an inviting practice. If you're, you've done a lot of yoga before and, uh, you, but you've been maybe, uh, not practicing as much, you're going to like this practice too. So you're going to, it's going to really benefit no matter which side you're on. So I'm in not so simple seat. Uh, I call it this because it's not easy if you, uh, this was me in not so simple seat the first time I sat down because I did a lot of walking and jogging and hiking and and I did not do a lot of stre stretching and I did not sit on the floor so you're also welcome to do some of these postures in a chair okay so that's a lot of introductory that's two minutes of introductory so let's get into some yoga uh, find yourself on your back with your feet together it's Supta Baddha Konasana it's a reclined bound angle I'm going to find a blanket so if you want to grab a towel at home or you want to grab uh, some throw pillows or a pillow that might be helpful i love a blanket because that helps me with my very cranky knees <coughs> so find yourself onto your back with your feet together supta baddha konasana and begin to relax into this posture so you might open your arms to a t or a cactus arm and begin to notice your breath. Inhale, exhale. I'm not concerned with how you're breathing. It's allergy season. You may not have your nose, so breathe through your mouth. Lord, thank you for this time to be on our mats to praise you through yoga, to meet you, to listen, especially to listen, Lord. We pray for the world. We pray for healing. And most of all, Lord, we just adore you and are grateful for every blessing you've given us, even the ones we don't even recognize. In Jesus' name. So when you're ready, start to close your knees toward one another. You can use your hands to do that. Bring your knees into your chest. Find a little roll side to side. Find little circles. I like to let my knees go and come down on my bottom, on my tailbone, hip to hip. And maybe even let those knees almost come to the, the ground on one side and then come back through center and come to the other side. You might notice that you're activating something here in order to do that. So just notice what you're activating and know where your edge is. It's important to understand that because that's where we can grow together. When you're ready, just start to roll up and back and down. So little rolls here. We're gonna roll all the way to our feet. So there, we are going to have standing postures, even though this is a gentle practice. So 
so that's exciting. This is like our little play mat, like we are kids. Hang here, forward fold, and hang and breathe. Press into the balls of your feet, almost lifting your heels. Bring your hands to the mat, and maybe if your hands are not reaching the mat, bend your knees a lot or find something to stack. So I love blocks, right? This can help. And start to move your hands to one side and the other. So just opening up the sides. See what's talking to you. I'm not going to tell you what's talking to you because I'm not inside your body. I only want you to know this. Inhale, half lift through the center, long spine, lift, exhale it out. Two more like that. Inhale, exhale it out. Inhale, exhale it out. And then come all the way up through standing arms are going to come up overhead exhale hands to heart center take an inhale and then exhale here and think about breath prayer today what is it you want to let go of that you're holding on to inhale arms come back up exhale swan dive all the way back to your forward fold Inhale, another half lift. Exhale, hands are going to come to the mat. Bend your knees a lot. Step the feet back. Let the knees come down to the mat, to your towel, if you have a towel. And then exhale, lower all the way down to Chaturanga. So we're going to do what's called a bent knee active child's pose, Chaturanga. Um, really great for your um, practice when you're in a slow flow or a power flow inhale press it a little bit forward exhale elbows by the ribs lower down inhale press up cobra exhale active child's pose so you can tuck those toes and press it back so find about three or four of these inhale exhale lower inhale up cobra exhale back active child's pose and just start to warm up the body. And then press it back. So another way of also doing these is to lower, press up, and skip the cobra, and press it all the way back. So you find what you need. If you need the little mini back bend, find the little mini back bend, and then press it back. Now find a more relaxed, what I call tadpole. Bring the knees and the ankles close together. Bring the arms by your sides and bring your forehead down to the ground. And breathe, so finding your breath here, your breath prayer. And when you're ready, begin to walk your hands back out. Start to walk them towards the front of your mat and find a puppy posture, so your head, forehead, or your chest might come to the mat Reach here and take the shoulders up and back and down. Lift through the abdomen. Puppy pose. Start to walk your hands back underneath your shoulders. Come into a tabletop. Lift through the shoulder girdle. Lift through your abdomen. Strong tabletop. Press your right hand out. Press your left foot back. So you're in the spinal balance. Breathe. Lift through the shoulder girdle, lift through the abdomen. So we're going to find some little crunches here, elbow to knee, inhale, exhale, crunch. So just like that, a lot of those that come to holy yoga practices with me know this little move, I love this little move, and then come all the way back down and find your tadpole again. You get to let your arms rest. So if you notice you're dumping in your hands, a great thing to do is come up on the fingertips and press into the fingertips, then let the palms come down, right? So we have really strong fingers. I wonder why, and they're getting stronger in quarantine, right? So here we go, use them. All the way down, start to walk those hands back out, hands underneath, get into your form here, knees under hips, hands under shoulders, this time left hand out, Right leg back. Breathe. Lifting through the abdomen. 
lifting through the shoulders, itchy nose. And then inhale, exhale, crunch. So find three maybe. Some of you might be like, I'm gonna do one, thank you. I'm gonna do five. Just find what makes sense for you. Press it out, bring the hand back down. Find tadpole, reconnect with the breath. Walk the hands back out. So we're going to find a little flow, gate pose, I love it. It's a fun little flow to do. I want you to kickstand your left foot out, like it's a little kickstand. So it's right behind you. You're gonna to start to lift up on that left knee and press this right foot out. Left hand is down right underneath that left shoulder and the right arm can come up, breathe. Coming all the way up, inhale, arms can come up overhead. I like the palms to come forward, bring the shoulders back and down and knit those ribs into your body or press the ribs down. I like to think of it as a pressing down. And then take that right hand over, left arm comes up and maybe take a gander at that left arm. Inhale, back up overhead. Exhale, left arm is gonna come down. Right arm is gonna reach and maybe take a gander at the right arm this time. That right foot, the toes could be pointing out in front of you or they could be pointing back behind you, okay? So don't concern yourself too much with that right foot, but just find what feels good to you. Breathe. Bring the right hand down. Bring that left knee back under. Tab, rest. So this is gentle, right? I want you to rest in between these places of movement. Connect with the breath prayer. So I'm going to read to you from Psalm 77. I will remember the, the deeds of the Lord. Yes, I will remember your miracles of long ago. I will meditate on all your works and consider all your mighty deeds. Your ways, God, are holy. What God is so great as our God? You are the God who performs miracles. You display your power among the people. He is the God that performs miracles. And I'm telling you, I saw miracles in my own life in these last two and a half weeks, three weeks of quarantine um, that are kind of blowing my mind. In my own family, but also in the world. But I've also seen a lot of suffering. And so, Lord, we're, play, we're praying for more miracles. And we're, display, we're asking you, display your power among the people. Uh, if we're desperate. We really are, and it's okay to exhale that. Desperation, confusion, disappointment, so much of that. Desires that are completely not met, and you feel like they are just crushed almost. Dreams, um, and even in the mundane, right? Like even in our daily life, the things that we took for granted. I mean, y'all, I'm missing Starbucks. I am missing drive through Starbucks right now. I'm freaking out over it. Okay, Lord, help. Now that might seem like a very first world problem, but it is real. Inhale, come back up. And we're gonna do this flow on the other side. We're just gonna transition right into some more yoga. So you're on your knees, and then this time you're kickstanding that right foot out and coming up. So I'm gonna face you this way. I'm gonna kickstand out and press this left foot up and then just come on, rise, bring those palms toward the front, knit the ribs down, shoulders back and down and breathe. Inhale, exhale. Bring the right hand down, let's find it here. So I think we started here last time, breathe. Grace, oh my gosh, how much grace do we all need right now? I mean, it's like unfathomable, but this is grace-filled yoga. Goodness, that's why I practice holy yoga because I need so much grace. Inhale, coming all the way back up. Exhale, bring that left hand down. Right arm is just gonna reach, 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 reach. Maybe you take a gander at it. Breathing here, stretching out the side body, coming back through center. Reach the arms up high. Right hand comes down. Left arm is up. This time you're gonna extend the angle. This is just like what you do when you're standing. Take a look at the left arm, breathe, 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 
you've knit the ribs in. I know they want to get into the, the action, don't they? Inhale, exhale, bring the hand all the way back down. You're coming back to your tabletop and then press it back, tadpole. And breathe. I will remember the deeds of the Lord. Yes, I will remember your miracles of long ago. I will meditate on all your works and consider all your mighty deeds. Your ways, O oh God, are holy. What God is so great is our God. You are the God who performs miracles and you display your power among your people. When you're ready, come back up through tabletop, and we're going to find a few cat-cow breaths. And I love this. This is called my anxiety flow. Inhale. Let the belly drop. Let the head come up. Shoulders back and down. And then exhale. Head drops. And you find that little arch, right? Inhale. Cow. Belly gets big, full of breath. Inhale through that nose. Exhale. Belly comes up. And then we're going to walk our hands out when you're ready after a few cat cows. So just keep finding that inhale, belly drops, exhale, lift. Then begin to come back to your neutral spine. Walk the hands out. Your hands might come off of the mat. That's okay. You're coming into sphinx posture. Press your legs into the earth. Press hard. Press the tops of your feet. Hard. Shoulders up and back and down. Let the belly button press toward the earth and let the face lift. But you're not lifting like you're looking up. You're lifting like you're looking forward. Gaze fixed on the Lord. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Plant your toes. Exhale. Stay. Inhale, lift into a plank on your forearms. Stay here and breathe. When you're ready, let your knees come down. Okay, we're not, we're not um, working out like crazy during quarantine. Maybe you are. I have not been. So, when your knees are ready to come down, bring them down. And walk your hands back and sit on your toes. A little sit on the toes here. Your toes are tucked. You're sitting on them. Inhale, arms up overhead. Exhale, cactus. Big, bright chest. But knit the ribs in to the upper abdomen. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. When you're ready to come off your toesies, i.e. your puppies are barking, right? Bring the hands forward, tap out the toesies. On the mat, not on a hard floor, that would hurt. You're in a tabletop posture. You've been here, we're gonna kick stand the left foot again, and then we're gonna press this right foot out, and you're in your gate pose. Here you are, inhale, exhale, stay. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, right hand down, reach it over. Inhale, all the way back up. Exhale, left hand comes down, right arm is over. Extend the angle and lift the right foot if you want to. But there, you do not have to do this. You could extend, you could stay here, you could bend and reach. Options. Just do what you want to do here. Bring the right hand down. Take a breath. We're not taking a break this time in child's pose, I'm sorry. You're gonna extend the right foot out this time. And I'm just going to turn around because I'm looking at the camera. Press the left foot out. Come up. Inhale. Exhale. Come down. Inhale and exhale. Stay. Inhale. Back up. Exhale. Reach. Oh, extend. Oh, that feels so good. Inhale. Come back up. Exhale. Right hand down. Left arm is up. Tuck the ribs. They're wanting to come out and play. Extend it. And maybe you lift the foot. I hear my little people. So if a little person happens to walk into the studio, we're just going to go with it and hope she does not press any buttons on my phone. Breathing wherever you're at. 
breathe. Bring the foot back down, come back through your tabletop, find the child's pose, or find the anxiety flow and do some cat cows. If that's what you need to get back to your breath, if your breath has left you because we lifted our legs, see, we did something different there. So we're almost done with moving, right? We're almost done with moving. We are gonna sit and meditate. So you can always pause and meditate longer. So just see what you want here. You're in a child's pose right now, or you're doing some cat cows. Breathe. So you have a couple of options from here. We're gonna come onto our back, do a couple of more postures, and then find a place of which you like to meditate. So it might be how we started in reclined bound angle. It might be simple seated or not so simple seated, just like I'm doing right now. Find a place that you enjoy to meditate from. And if you've ever done yin with me, you will know that simple seated is not where I like to meditate. I have to be in some other little yoga posture that gets my head out of the fact that I'm just sitting here. I just don't do this. This looks very yogi-ish. I wish I did it, it would be awesome. So find something. For me, I like to press my legs out, find a little block or a bolster, and just start to kind of lean in. This is where I go. Some people like staff posture to meditate. It just gives you something to do. It's not sitting, you know, because somehow sitting is just, I don't know. But if you like to sit and meditate, do it. Okay, I'm talking a lot. Let's get on the back. Bring your knees into your chest. Give yourself a hug. Ooh, press the legs up. Find waterfall. If you like plow or you like shoulder stand, you can find that. You might even find a little mini bend here. Just let the, head, the, the feet press up and do their thing. So just reversing blood flow here at the end of your practice. Bring your knees back into your chest. Find a little hug. Let them come out a little bit. Let them fall to the left. Arms can come out into a T. Breathe. If you want to find a little bit more, take that left hand and pull on the top of that left, right leg and then Take the gaze over to the right hand, breathe here. Spinal twist. Inhale back through center. Exhale, let the legs fall to the right. Right hand can come on top of that left leg. Pull and then maybe you take your gaze to that left arm and breathe here. And then coming back through center, find how you would like to meditate at the end here and then find Shavasana. So you might be like, wow, that's two restful things in a row. Not really, because meditation is active and Shavasana is rest. Okay, so we're still in our active. Do you want to meditate? You want to come sit with me? I want to do that in a minute. Okay, we'll do that in a minute. All right, so I've got a visitor. Um, there. I'm doing a video. So I would love for you to come to whatever that meditative posture is. Inhale and exhale intentionally. So the only breath work we've done here is just thinking about your inhale and thinking about your exhale. And that's what we've done, right? You like to breathe. That's a big belly breath. I like to do more ujjayi breath in through the nose and out through the nose, and maybe you slow the breath on the exhale down a little bit by constricting the throat. So you're gonna sound a little like Darth Vader, right? Oh, thank you, that's where my throat is, thank you. And we're gonna read the scripture one more time, and then you're welcome to pause this, meditate as long as you would like, and then you're going to find your What's Shavasana, in, what, your rest what, posture, whatever what's that might be. In, in, in your neck. Your throat. That's right. Adam's apple. No, um, 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 something's in there and it's a bone. Um, a circle mm -hmm. bone. It's a circle bone. I will remember the deeds of the Lord. Yes, I will remember your miracles of long ago. I will meditate on all your works and consider all your mighty deeds. Your ways are God, O oh God, are holy. 
What God is so great is our God. You are the God who performs miracles. You display your power among the people. So this is the end of our video. I'm coming. And I'm so glad you were with me. I'm just going to pray us out, and then I'm going to get her something to eat. Lord Jesus, thank you for uh, this time. Thank you for... <laughs> videos thank you for four-year-olds you know when it needs to be the end of a yoga video and jesus i'm sorry for everybody out there i hope this made you smile because i know you're doing this too <laughs>